Hey yo, what's up, everybody? It's Tyler. It's AKA Todd Killings, and uh, yeah, man. All right. So this video, uh, it's kind of a little bit different. Um, I wanted to get with you guys and just kind of hang out and talk for uh, for about ten minutes about uh, just kind of you know how we can make GTA great again. Okay, because this game is going to be around for a few more years. It's going to be GTA Online is going to be live until Rockstar decides to kill it. That's just all there is to it. Okay, no game's going to take it out. It's always going to have a player base. So I wanted to kind of, you know, just talk about a few things that I think are important to, you know, just kind of set this game. You know, it's, it's, it's a great game. It's always been a great game. It always will be. But just to kind of, you know, realign the, the way that we act as players on this game. Um, you know, we're all guilty of doing dumb shit and, and things like that. But, what, you know, just imagine like this. Yes, okay, so, you know, make GTA great again, right? What does that mean, okay? Let's go ahead and just pretend that, of course, you know, we want cool things like, you know, more mods and customization for cars to fix bugs and glitches like God modes and, you know, curb boosting and dumb stuff like that. And we would love to be able to wear whatever type of clothing we wanted to fix the whole free aim and free aim assisted issue with the lobbies, you know, but let's just go ahead and just for shits and giggles, let's just accept that those things probably won't happen, right? And I, I hope they do. I really do. I really hope that all these things get fixed, like in a last DLC or something, all that stuff is addressed. We get, you know, maximum amount of customization with cars. We don't have to worry about doing the tire uh, lower glitch anymore. We don't have to worry about, you know, glitching helmets and masks and outfits together and stuff. Um, but let's just pretend, you know, that the only thing that we can truly control, we can't really control the game, right? As the players, there's not much we can do with that. Yeah, we can lobby and protest, but... No matter what, no matter how shitty you know Rockstar and Take Two get, we're still gonna play this game. That's been proven, with paywalls and pricing. You know, everyone's complained about it. I asked one main important question. I said, "Okay, are you gonna quit playing the game?" And everybody was like, "Nah, nah, I'm still gonna play." Okay, so let's pretend that you know all that stuff is not gonna change because it probably won't. So the only thing that we can really control in this game is us as a player base and the player base as a whole, as a community. And I'm talking about all of us, right? You know, and Sonny did a great job talking about it with his geographic series and shit. You know, your tryhards, your griefers, your noobs, your modders, everybody all together. Okay, we are all a community. We're all a, a player base. So how do we kind of change, you know, our whole mentality towards this game? A lot of it starts with what you're seeing right here. Um, and as you notice in the first few seconds, I have... Uh, my crew is in a, pu a public lobby, and it's just us. We started out with a single person inside of a public lobby, and then we all just, you know, we invited our crew members in here, and we were able to control the lobby. Because our type of, you know, what we do, our subculture in this community, we're grinders. We like to make money, because that's the best way to have fun in this game, is if you have money. So as you see, I have, you know, a, a large portion of my crew. We're all helping each other out. We all help each other get supplies, sell big, large sales. Uh, and we provide a clean, safe lobby for us to do that. And just to hang out and chill. And, you know, people bring in their friends and they get to meet us. And they become potential new crew members and things like that. Because of my crew, I prefer quality over quantity. I'm not going to just, you know, spam invites out to everybody to, um, you know, deteriorate that experience and to make it worse. You know, the old school gamers have been around for almost three years now. And it's because we, you know, pride ourselves on that. Being a, a tight-knit group, a family of like-minded individuals that just want to chill and have a good time after we get off work. We're going to be able to come and hang out and chill. You know, we can't afford to go out, go to the bars and blow a bunch of money. We got kids. We got real-life responsibilities. So we just want to chill and hang out with our online buddies and not have to worry about some stupid shit. Right? So in our own little tiny world, we have created that. We have accomplished, you know, how to make GTA great again. And I want you guys to understand that it is possible. You know, if, if you, you know, I, I listen, I, I got mad respect for all different types of subcultures in this community. Okay. Your tryhards, your griefers, whatever, because you all, you know, work hard at what you do, even though it may be shitty, you know, you still work hard at what you do. Okay. Um, so if you want to, you know, duke it out with people and stuff like that. If you see someone trying to make money, if you see a red box or a you know a plane or some kind of eye, you know what it is. You know what they're doing. Just leave these people alone, man. They're not, you know, they're not trying to mess with you. So just don't mess with them. I mean, we you've already proven you're a badass, right? You got invisible ankles, you know what I'm saying? You're a badass. We get it. And if you really want to duke it out, 
Let it be with somebody that's willing to do that with you. You know, I, I would implore everyone out there, don't shoot until you're shot at, right? And maybe if we all follow that, you know, that little mantra, then nobody will be shooting at nobody because everyone's going to wait for that first shot, okay? And, uh, you know, and that's why there's team death matches. That's why there's adversary modes. If you want to duke it out, you know, why would you want to have cops shooting at you all the damn time? You know, messing, you know, it just gets that, that, that annoy. That's why I really don't like to do free mode battles because it's so annoying. The cops are always at you messing with you and you can't have a legitimate, you know, street battle unless it's like in a TDM or something like that. So maybe just save it for that, you know, you know, challenge yourself. You've already mastered the streets of Los Santos, right? So challenge yourself in a new arena. You know, go into a controlled environment like a team deathmatch or a deathmatch or a la uh, last team standing or whatever and see how you can master that. You know, maybe go back to your grind anyway. Say you've been duping, right? You've been duping. you got plenty of money. Well, challenge yourself to see if you can make, say you got $70 million by off dupes. Can you make $7 million clean? Challenge yourself. See if you can do that, right? I mean, because, I mean, listen, I've been there. I've been the streets duking it out. And it just, you know, to me, that's just not how I enjoy the game. That got boring, you know. Um, so challenge yourself. Do something different, you know. You've been trying harder than out. You've got legit money. you got dupe money. Okay, well, do it in a, in a controlled environment with a team deathmatch or see what kind of racing accolades you can get. You know, go to a different type of arena in this game. It has so much to offer. Hell, start, you know, be the next Roger Federer in tennis. <laughs> I mean, something, you know. That's how we can make GTA great again in that aspect. Yes, it's a great game. It always will be. But, you know, we're coming up on the on the time of this game where, man, like, listen, you know, the people that are, are left on this game, you know, that we're really just trying to, we, we just, we thoroughly enjoy it. We And we're going to be here for a long time. So we need to find a way to cohabitate together. And, you know, like I said, you can totally try hard out. You can grief, but do it against people of your same community. You know what I mean? If people are trying to make money and, and have a good time and just do what they want to do and not mess with they don't deserve to be getting, you know, messed with by people who have unlimited money. Maybe this guy only has a couple hundred grand and he's just trying to chill. He just got, you know, off of work from a shitty ass day. You know, trust me, if you're a younger dude, you'll be there. You know, you may be in school right now and having to worry, but I, I promise you, I promise you, time um, lets nobody escape. You will have to be there one day, okay? You try, I, I promise you that. <laughs> Time is the fire in which we all burn. So respect that, you know what I mean? Uh, and it can be done, and you can get with the, together with a great crew. Back in the day, we used to have awesome crew battles. You know, it was a crew of tryhards going against another crew of tryhards. You know, maybe you should do that. You know, set yourself up to where you can kind of get involved with that whole thing. Uh, but, you know, with the old school gamers, I mean, we have a little bit of everybody in here because, um, you know, I respect all different aspects of the game. And I, I make sure that I encourage a culture that uh, accommodates those. So, uh, you know, sometimes I'll be like, hey, you know, when we're doing our, our lobbies like this, we're just trying to make money. I'll have a few of my guys in here. They're like, hey, we'll be security. I let them know, don't attack them. But if we can't, we always ask people to leave if we don't want them in here, right? Hey, we send them messages. We get on the mic. Hey, can you please leave? We're just trying to make money. You know, and if they're like, hey, we're just trying to make money too. We're like, okay, just please be cool. You know, and work together. And sometimes those people end up being our friends. But then if they act a fool, then I unleash my tryhards. And they are good. You know what I mean? And <laughs> they know what they're doing. And we, we get our lobby no matter what, through one way or the other. You know, I'm not trying to brag or boast or anything like that, but what I mean by one way or the other, we'll either, you know, ask the people to leave, they will, we'll work with them, we can vote them out, um, you know, our tryhards, our killers, our shooters, we'll force them out, or we'll just leave and, re and just reset up a new lobby, because that, that's the style of play that we like, that we like to do. And listen, I get it, I know, it's hard to create that group of people, to get that crew together. And for people to work together, it takes practice. Listen, it hasn't been easy for the old school gamers. We've gone through shit before too. But we learn through experience. And then you can do the same thing with your crew and your group of people. You know what I mean? And that can be accomplished. I promise you that. But I know that we can all, you know, everyone can coexist together. But like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, if you see people just trying to make money and do their thing, you know what they're doing. They're running crazy. So just let them go. Let them do their thing. You know, if you're running crates or you're doing something like that, don't just start popping shots at people that you see everywhere because that'll start drama too. Just drive on by. Don't shoot until you're shot at. I know it may be too late sometimes, but give people the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if it can work out. You know what I mean? 
Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to take a, you know, a few minutes to talk to you guys about this. I appreciate you taking the time and listening to me. And, uh, I, I mean, seriously, let me know what you think. I mean, I'm sure people will be like, oh, that'll never happen. You know, you got too many, you know, kids, blah, blah, blah. But listen, man, it's never too late to learn. And like I said, you're always going to have those bad apples, but if the majority of the people can, you know, find a way to come to an understanding, you know, we can handle that smaller percentage of just, you know, dumbasses or whatever. It's not going to be a problem. You know, alliances can be formed and things like that. So, you know, that, that's that's what I propose. The last few years, this game is going to be around online until Rockstar cuts it out. So, yeah, definitely think about this, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of take a few minutes and just, you know, shoot this shit with you and see what you thought about this. And, you know, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. <laughs> but, yeah, man, seriously, we can do this, all right? You guys, uh, you just got to stay dangerous, all right? We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah.